Hi, I'm Jerome Jennings with SPX Cooling Technologies, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to change the oil in your Marley gear reducer. So the Marley gear reducer is filled via the oil elbow here. This is where the oil goes in. There's actually a full and an add mark cast directly into the body of the gear reducer. So typically customers will need to get inside the unit and monitor that level if they need to add oil. Another value added option that Marley offers is a dipstick option such as this. So this will actually have the add and full mark that you find here on the gearbox on this elongated dipstick. The option then runs out to the side casing panel where you can actually pull this dipstick from the top of the tower without having to get inside. When draining your oil, it's important to use the drain plug and completely evacuate the gearbox and let all the oil run out. Then you can come back in, plug the port, and fresh fill with new oil. The recommended oil for these smaller gear reducers using our package factory assembled towers would be an ISO 150 grade oil. For applications where the ambient temperatures around the gearbox are going to be in excess of 110 degrees Fahrenheit, you can use an ISO 220 type oil. Once you've filled your Marley gear reducer to the appropriate full level mark, you can then exit the tower and start back up following all the safety precautions needed for the site. Once you've done that, as the gearbox runs, the oil as it's being slung around inside the unit can change level just slightly. So it's important to understand what the static oil level height is when the unit is off, as well as what the level is at the operating point. That way the maintenance staff will know whether the gearbox actually needs to add oil or not when they view the dipstick. The most important thing when operating a gearbox is to ensure that the oil level is at the appropriate level. The full mark is shown on the casted body as well as on the dipstick if you have that value added option. Overfilling the gearbox could result in oil being slung out from near the slinger, which would be undesirable. If the oil level does drop for any reason, such as a leak, it's important to check that, monitor it, and add oil as needed to make sure it's at the operating level full mark. When the Marley gear reducer is filled at the factory with premium synthetic oil, it is good for up to five years. You may run across gearboxes in the field that have already transitioned over to a less expensive turbine mineral type oil. Synthetic is very good, but it's about three times the cost of a turbine mineral oil. For turbine mineral oil, you should be changing the oil regularly every six months. Another good idea when using any type of lubricant in your gear reducer or gearbox is to regularly monitor the oil quality. This can be done by extracting samples of the oil quarterly or at least semi-annually and sent off to a lab for analysis. As long as that oil maintains a minimum quality standard in terms of the criteria, such as water amount present, total acid number, etc., you can continue to run the oil. Typically, there are labs located locally near the customer where they can send the oil sample to and get quick results. Be sure to follow your Marley user manual for the specific series of gear reducer that you may have in your cooling tower and also refer to the overall cooling tower user manual as well. You can also visit our website spxcooling.com to find other great information. Also on spxcooling.com you can find a list of our recommended lubricants that are allowed for the Marley gear reducers. Again, I'm Jerome Jennings and thank you for watching.